Apparently, freedom of speech is only for one side. Oh my goodness. So I'm sure you guys know by now that I attended the Boston Straight Pride Parade and had a blast, right? I had a blast in the parade, I had a blast on stage giving a speech, I had a blast with Milo. The whole thing was fun. Even the protesters were fun. Now, alongside me on stage was Dr. Felicia Nace. And she's a, a, a board of trustee member at RBCC. Now here's the thing. After her doing her speech at the, the Straight Pride Parade, what has happened now, there's been some backlash, right? People have started, started being triggered by her even attending there. Not, we won't even get into the speech, but her mere presence at the parade has now triggered a bunch of people to, to ask for her resignation. Now here's the thing. I was at the parade. I was on stage. I heard what she said. Um, you, you can check it out for yourselves on YouTube. She didn't say anything crazy. Not at all. Nothing that could be misconstrued as hateful or, or meaning or de dehumanizing or anything. Any of that rhetoric that they love to throw around. None of that. With the, the, one, the, the main question she posed was, what is too soon? When is it too soon to start giving your children alphabet propaganda? That's what she asked, right? Because there, there are certain school districts, you know, certain states that started teaching their children, started teaching your children, not their children, started teaching the children about alphabet history. And so she was saying, yo, 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 what, when is it too young? She even has articles about this. When is it too young to start talking about gender and the spectrum and all that? Like, it, when it comes to other issues, don't you think that you maybe want to allow your child to develop to at least 18, the legal age? Or at least, at least 25 when their frontal cortex has been fully developed? Is it, isn't that a good amount of time before you start making life altering decisions for them. In addition to that, what she, she, she says, something I've harked on since the beginning, is that everything has to do with money. Everything, politics, money, business, money. The reason why legislation gets passed, money. The reason why it even gets to the house or to the Senate. Money, 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 that's it. And I just think it's funny, the hypocrisy in all of this, right? Because if, if the shoe had been flipped, if she had been coming out advocating for the alphabet community instead of questioning, because she didn't, she, anything other than advocation uh, is, is seen as anti-alphabet. That's how it is. It's, it's a very binary choice to them. You're either for us or you're against us. There is no, there is no nuance, nuance uh, gray area. That doesn't exist. Now, she goes on to say that by them adopting such curriculums, states like California and other states, uh, what they've done is that they've created a multi-million dollar industry overnight. Because along with adopting that curriculum, well now you need books, right? And then on top of that, now you need advisors. Similar advisors to the ones that were advising Malik Yoba on the, inter in, in, on the interview in Breakfast Club, where he kept looking, is this the correct language? Is this the correct pronouns? And the black dude all the way at the end was like, yes, that's, this is what you say, this is how you phrase it, this is what you mean by that. Yeah. He's the one that's advising your teachers. Now, I don't know about for you, but for me, that's gonna be a hard no. I'm talking about a hard foot down, hell to the no. Hell nah to the nah, nah, nah. Hell nah, that's not, no, it's not gonna happen. Now, one thing I have to say is that I get it. I completely understand. Because, you know, when it means your job, when it means your livelihood, when it means your child potentially be taken away from you in some cases, I get why people stay silent. I completely understand because you don't want to be blacklisted. You don't want to say the wrong thing or the wrong pronoun in the wrong context or someone, you know, misconstrues the context of the original context of your joke or, or of what you were saying. And it's done. It's, it's game over. Right. And now you're labeled as the Nazi. Right. Or the, the nationalist or the supremacist. And then you it's, it's, it's hard for you to find work all like that over. It's something that can happen in a second. But I also want people to understand is that we can't be the criminals in Dark Knight. <laughs> we, we, we can't be that group. And if you guys remember the scene, the scene is with Joker, Heath Ledger's Joker. He comes in, ha 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 ha, right? And he's like, yo, I know why you guys hold your little meetings in the daylight. Because at nighttime, Batman's there. And Batman's exposed you for, for who you are, a bunch of cowards. That is what we cannot be. We cannot be, we cannot be cowards. That's what we can't do. We, we're gonna have to fight this. 
And good for Dr. Nace for fighting this because she says, I'm not resigning. This is my freedom of speech. And I hope the students exercise their freedom of speech when they get the chance. But she's not going anywhere. And you know what? Good for her. She shouldn't. This is absolutely ridiculous. Because even from the quotes that they want to, that they want to, you know, edit, there was nothing harmful about anything she said. But it all goes back to what I've been talking about. Speech, about language, and how they're trying to manipulate it and perverse it. Because you don't want to get to the point where you're too afraid to say something. You're too afraid to stick up for one plus one being two. You constantly hear one plus one being five, 506. Your child comes home with homework that, that says one plus one is 506. It's gonna to come to a point in time where you're gonna to have, to, you're gonna be forced to stand up. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe Lucas, good, good. She should resign for that hateful rhetoric. Or if you I believe, I just think it's very interesting how, how some groups, some communities have a monopoly on free speech and right, right think. Either or, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. Oh, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. You're going to be forced to stand up.